guys, remember last week when I did that amazing wash and go? Well, how long did it last? How do you even make a wash and go last? Stay tuned to this video and we'll figure it all out. So I start off preserving my hairstyle by pineappling my hair at night. And that's basically a method that you use to tie your hair up in a bonnet. As you can see, I start off with two elastic bands and a bonnet. That's it. First step is to push forward <clears throat> the front part of your hair, the crown of your hair, to basically your forehead. You're going to put like a ponytail at the top of your forehead, basically. And then you're just gonna secure that ponytail with a loose fitting elastic band. That's it. Most videos on YouTube only talk about pineappling as if your hair was long. Well, here's a great method for people with shorter hair like mine. If you can't get the back length to reach up to the front, just put the back in a ponytail and pineapple that sucker. And that's pretty much it. Um, once both um, sections are secured with elastic bands, I just put on a big stupid oversized bonnet that doesn't even make any sense. I got it back somewhere in Boston, but it does the trick, it protects my hair. Okay, so now we're at day two and I start my morning off waking up like this looking crazy but I'm removing the elastic bands and shaking go on girl shake it uh -huh, yes shake it okay back to normal so I wind up just shaking out the ponytail loosening up my curls and I just hop in the shower I don't put on a shower cap or anything like that because I want the steam from the shower to help release and bring some of those curls back to life I'll show you the aftermath of the shower in a second So we just want to use this time right now to thank our Heavenly Father for things such as showers and makeup and perfume and lotion because I was looking ashy, boo, tiny. But this is me after the shower. My hair is back to life essentially. This is day two hair um, and it just looks good. I didn't apply any products. I applied so many products on day one of the wash and go that I'm not trying to do that anymore. So that's day two. Okay, so I don't know what's up with me in math. That's not my strong suit, people. But what my strong suit is is making these day three curls pop. You know what I'm saying? Okay, calm down. Day three, I'm just super excited that my wash and go lasts this long. I'm even surprised. I'm a rough sleeper. My bonnet normally falls off at night, but I'm still hanging, y'all. Okay, here we are, day number four, and I will admit my hair is getting a little bit frizzier and a little bigger, but who cares? The bigger, the better. I like a big old fro anyway. Okay, here we are at day five, getting our groove on. As you can see, my hair is a little bit frizzier. Okay, a lot, but I don't care. This whole natural thing is about embracing curls, frizz, kinks, quails, all of that. And I embrace them gladly. Hey now. Okay, so here we are at day number six, and this is when I had to pull out my secret weapon, the puff. I do the puff when my hair is just starting to get on its last leg um, when things are just getting a little frizzy my hair is a little tangled I'll just go ahead spit some water in it put a little bit of um, gel in it tie it down with a scarf so that it sets and of course that baby hair y'all you got to do the baby haul um, I set it with a scarf so that I'll get a little bit of some wave action and after I let my scarf stay on my head for maybe like 15 minutes while I'm getting dressed and putting on makeup, I take the scarf off so that the hairstyle is actually set in place and I get a little bit of some waves actions. Yes, some 360s. And that's pretty much it. Um, I just decided to do a puff because my hair was becoming a little bit on the rougher side of things. But I still love it to life. Okay. 
okay here we are with day seven hair and that's when I have a tendency to get super lazy now my goal for 2015 was to really be about the health of my hair and not be trifling like I normally am and leave this bun in my hair for weeks on end because that's what I'll do once I do this bun once I have a tendency to do it another five days or so um but here's an example of me doing my bun i just spritz some water in it put some gel in it brush it down tie it up with a scarf and gone about my business but my goal for this sunday is to actually do my hair so that every seven days i'm actually oiling it again and washing it or co-washing whatever the case may be but that's it guys my wash and go lasted for about five days about day six and seven i had to modify it but that's not bad and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and find me on instagram twitter facebook google plus and the like under no real jewelry thanks so much